Riding makes me feel free, makes me feel strong, makes me want to fly. I'd like to leave a mark in the sport, being a woman, being Morgan LaFonte. I'd like to leave my mark. Yeah, I snowboard for the rush. You get such an adrenaline rush out of it. The adrenaline is good. I'm an addict. <laughs> Let's just find a new vein. <laughs> The relief of being in the air and pulling up your boards, it's radical. You just gotta be there, you gotta be able to feel it. And I like to go fast and fly through the air. Sometimes when you fly far, you just like, whoa, and you get scared. So it's pretty fun. Um, I like the rhythm, I like the grace of it, I really like the speed. Some good competition going on here. She's looking clean and fast on top. Edge to edge. Looking real good. Woo! Real aggressive. Woo! I like going fast. I like going real fast. <laughs> this could be your champion for the women. Tara Everhard Masterpool making her way to the finish. A nice gritty challenge by Lundstrom, but it will be Tara Everhard Masterpool, the winner here in the first race. I like going really fast down the hill. Yeah. It's um, a benefit for breast cancer, so it's a pretty good benefit cause, I think. Kind of like board aid. I'm excited about this event because it's just like, just free for all, riding and having fun. Kind of burn on competition. It's just a really awesome event. There's bands here and top 
pro snowboarders. Um, just getting together for a fun event. It's not a contest at all. It's just a gathering uh, for a good reason. That's probably my favorite is riding the pipe, but got a little bit too much vert on one of the walls, so it's a little hard on one side, but the other wall is really nice, and I'm just glad to be out here. It's a great day. I'm trying to get back more into pipe a little bit. In, out in Whistler, we don't really have a pipe at all. <laughs> mind going to the Olympics representing Canada if I could. Um, some of my snowboarding goals are to make it to the Olympics. I guess I'd like to go to the Olympics. That'd be fun. I ride horses competitively and I'm in vet school. So that's kind of, snowboarding's kind of like just a fun thing for me. I snowboarded for just three days before I tried my first contest. It was way back in the old days where you could just jump in and do it. And you'd ride one board for all, all the events. And uh, that's about it. I just started right away, right off the bat, because it was the thing to do at the time. And I placed first in the half pipe. It's just kind of funny because I didn't even know how to ride really. I just go really big in the air and then and crash. It was fun. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> this year I got the overall world title and I've had that for four years.
I used to ski and then my friends got me to try snowboarding and I got hooked. Everybody was having too much fun on the board so I changed to the board. Um, I can do a lot more tricks and stuff on a snowboard than I could ever do on skis. Skis I got kind of bored, real bored. Who taught you how to ride? Oh, um, my ass. <laughs> I fell on it all the time. The first day, I didn't like because I was really sore. The first day was kind of hard. After the first four or so, it gets pretty easy. Everyone that continues past the first day ends up getting hooked. I picked it up in a couple weeks, and then after that, I've just been boarding ever since. Great. You know, I just stayed on my feet for a while, and just, you know, I got happy being on my feet. So I just kept going. This event's been around for over 14 years, which is basically prehistoric times for the world of snowboarding.
Walk and talk, you can do anything. Walk and talk, dance and sing. Walk and talk, you can do anything. Yeah! Okay, when I started riding 14 years ago, um, there was only three other women that I knew of that about started at the same time. What she's doing is called snow surfing or snowboarding. They didn't invent it, but three years ago, she and her husband were making boards like this for fun in her friend's garage. Today, it's their business, a booming business. California starts a lot of things, and it appeals to a lot of people. Skiers, sailboarders, skateboarders. It's a little difficult to learn at first, but once you make your first turn, you're hooked. <laughs> Traditionalists may be a little suspicious, but the Donner Ski Ranch has welcomed the new sport with open arms, allowing snowboarding seven days a week even offering lessons. We put our 12-inch wide ski down, <laughs> otherwise known as a snowboard. <laughs> Let the board go down, now pick it out. Yeah, pick it out, all right. <laughs> You're on this toe edge, you let it go straight. It is more like skiing than anything else, and a lot of the people who do it have been skiing for quite some time. We need a smile. Are you, are you filming people falling on their butts? Yeah, right? really. <laughs> Snowboarding is definitely not an issue of age. It's really an issue of attitude. I will not get to it. No. Whoa! Excellent! <laughs> Give me five minutes! After you start, you just want to keep trying harder to do better. Amanda! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah.
first got into it, I thought it would be like cat fight sort of situation. Like, ah, you know, I want to beat you and I want to beat you. Just sort of a kind of animosity sort of between the girls. But it's so not like that. It's everybody helps out each other. Everybody <laughs> It's Anne Marie Elias. Now, the next thing we need to do is teach these ladies. And I'm really looking forward to the Olympics. My goal is to go to the Olympics and make um, a very nice place there. I'm going to try my hardest and work as hard as I can to be in the Olympics. I think the Olympics is what everybody's thinking about. Um, everybody wants to go there. It's something that I'd have to think about because of the training and because of the money involved and a lot of other things besides just the competing, like in politics. I'll see, I don't snowboard just looking forward to the Olympics. It's step by step, just every year. We will see if, if it's possible to race there because it's chess and I'm better in slalom, like almost all the Germans. The secret is to have fun, I think. I don't know why I like to compete, it's just, I don't know, I think it gives me a rush, you know, every time to go faster and to compete to other girls and, yeah, and beat them, I don't know. <laughs> Chicks kick butts! Yeah! Women, they're rising and shining, this is the time. It's great to see all the ladies out there getting interested and uh, I'd say the women's market is growing by leaps and bounds every season. We are carrying at least 30% more outerwear for women. The industry has ignored women's needs for so long and uh, we got boobs and waist and hips and uh, it's time somebody made clothes for them. We're sick of buying men's clothes, so a clothing store for just women maybe would be a good idea. Some women want a more specific fit, like my sister likes to show her butt off, and so I'm, I'm catering to that in a way. <laughs> They're so comfortable. They're like, I wish I was naked <laughs> under these clothes. There you go. Sweet. It's fabric. It's a silk scarf underneath there. It's the Impala. All the girls just love it because it's so pretty, but it's super light. 
which is the company. The bindings are on a lock, and it's quick getting in, quick getting out. You don't really need to stop um, to buckle in. There's no more sitting down, no more moonshots of people behind you. Where's your binding? What's snowboarding? It's on the snow, and it's like a big, fat, wide, long skateboard. On a powder day, it's like surfing. On a groom day, it's kind of like skateboarding on a longboard. <laughs> the whole carving thing. It's almost like meditating, especially in powder. Snowboarding is so addictive. It's just such a free feeling. There's nothing like a sunny day in the pal before anybody else gets there. That's the best that there is. And when you ride, you feel like you're flying, especially if you're in the power. Powder is what we basically all live for. Powder, fresh powder, light, fluffy, fresh powder. Really nothing better than a powder. Pow, 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 you West Coast freak. <laughs> my good pal, Natalie Nelson. Exactly. Maybe some of you might recognize her better if you could see her in her race suit. What kind of suit is that? Mm. It's a, a unique suit that's uh, manufactured just for me. It's, it's a cow uh, suit. Mm. What are your favorite tricks? My favorite tricks right now are um, just some smaller spins, grabs, lots of grabs, different Ooh. kind of stuff. I like floating things. Do you find that you're more inclined to be attracted to a snowboarder or like just a regular guy? More than likely a snowboarder because we have something really? in common. Yes. What about the attitude problems? I find ones without attitudes. And what's your favorite line? <laughs> well, basically it's, um... <laughs> you look really <laughs> familiar. Haven't I seen you before? Hey, baby, want to wrestle? <laughs> There's no key to competing, it's just you ride the way you always do, you should always be riding your hardest, pushing yourself. <laughs> My 
brother wanted to enter a competition, so I entered it with him, and it turns out that I was the only girl in my age group. So, of course, I won, and that qualified me for nationals, and I went to nationals, and I won at nationals. Yes! Do you want to do a quick uh, intro? Hi. These girls came from all over the country for a spring gathering of the goddesses. Kirkwood has been in 
invaded by snowboarder chicks for going off. There's 40 women riders, women that are in the industry, women that ride professionally, women that are just getting started, women that just rip for the fun of it. There's all different levels of snowboarding, but everybody has the same passion for it. Hey, I'm here because I do a women's snowboarding magazine called Fresh and Tasty. Oh. It's fresh and tasty. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I'm just checking Ooh. out all the fresh and tasty <laughs> snowboarding going on. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I think the whole goddess thing is a killer thing. I'm so stoked you guys put it together. We're out here at Kirkwood just ripping it up, and we're going to rip it up at Sierra tomorrow. Cause we have so, it's so fun to have a pack of like 40 girls. so fast it's better than anything pretty much <laughs> Snowboarding, I mean, what, why does it rule? It's nothing like getting on the rail of your board and just like hanging all the way back on the tail and letting your board take you for a ride when you're carving. And there's nothing else like getting some fresh air and trying to style it and then yeah. sticking the landing. Bottom line is that it's fun, you know? That's why I started snowboarding and that's why I'm still doing it. Um, and I'm taking a hit. Uh, it's really hot. <laughs> a mom and you can be a ripper you can raise little rippers <laughs> good roll okay go ahead and stand up huh? and donna's got 500 little boys and That's girls right. tell about, us about it about 500 kids that skate at my house on my vert ramp and i want you to 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 notice me right now Yeah. 
You just you feel this energy when, when you're in your group, when you're one on one, and when, especially when we're all together. It's like a buzz. It's a beehive.
An official. In fact, you're probably the uh, the what? some step in bindings. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay, now we're going to go fakie. <laughs> there we go. Whoa. Whoa. I broke my ball snowboarding. You're going to snowboard again? Yeah. Sometimes. I was snowboarding with Mama. She crashed and broke her bone snowboarding. That's a good job. Four, five, six, seven. That's a swimming. That's a swat. A, B, C, D, E, F, D. You turn that off. I've been a snowboarder for five years, I've been a mom for 11 years, and I've been a skydiver my entire adult life. It's the free fall that has really intrigued me. And then of course there's sky surfers, which are just one part of the freestyle. Even though I have 3,000 skydive, I'm just a fledgling sky surfer. And I have about 40 jumps on my little baby board that I use just to learn to, to stand up and to, to deploy my parachute in a stable position. And now I have about 10 jumps on my intermediate board. So you're seeing me just at the beginning of this aspect of the sport. Well, when I stick my hand out over that sky surfboard, it's like 120 miles an hour. So I'm pushing against that air to make me move.
pretty squishy getting out of here. See yeah. what I mean? Once you start riding it, if it clicks for you, it's something that you'll never give up. It's just, it, it's, it's soul, it's part of your soul. Watch out, because it might take over your whole life. <laughs> it's done it to many people. <laughs> I'm gonna go ride. <laughs> Thank you. See ya. Good luck.